Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today I'm going to make a little bit of an unusual card. I'm going to make a get well card for a young girl who has been ill. One of my viewers sent me a note saying that her daughter had been sick and that she's a big baseball fan, so I thought I would make her a baseball themed card. So I went on the internet and there is uh, a website where you can get uh, free uh, downloadables and so I did some baseball, a big baseball and a bat and I thought I'd color the bat with some alcohol markers 95, 102 and 107 in my touch fives. I'm going to start out with the lightest color color in the whole bat and then I'm going to go into the darkers. take my scoreboard and I'm going to score the baseball so that I can fold it on the card. So we know our card is a 5 by 7 Get those out of the way. And so since our card is a 5 by 7 we know that our baseball can't be any more than um, 5. And so I'm going to make it a little bit short of the five. I'm going to put it right. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to flip that over now that I mentioned that. I'm going to put it at about right there. This way we'll be sure that we have enough room for our baseball to fold and we'll also be able to ensure that our baseball um, doesn't take up the whole front of the card. At least it shouldn't. So we'll do it like that. Oh, that looks good. Okay. So the way you do it then is we're going to then fill in more on the front of our card with some of the things that we have. And I'm going to use this sentiment from um, Inspired by Stamping called Wishing You. And it says, Wishing You a Speedy Recovery. So we're going to go with that. And I think I'm going to stamp that right on our baseball. So I'm going to get my... grab my little misty. If you can't see the line, there's a line right here on the baseball, so I'm lining that up with my misty so that it's on the grid line. That way I'll be sure that my stamped image that I'm going to stamp somewhere on this, stamp it maybe right there. Hopefully it will be straight. We'll make sure of that once we put the lid on it. Okay. I'm going to use the VersaFine Onyx Black. It's the blackest ink I have, and I really like it. This is the first time I've used this stamp set, so I want to make sure that it inks well. Looks like it is. But as you know, I always like to make sure I ink things several times. I'm just going to stamp it a few more times and hopefully we'll be able to get a good image. And then I think I'm going to um, make sure that I make it even bolder by embossing it. So we're going to have my little bottle. And I'm going to heat up my heat tool before I take it to the image. You only want to put it to your image until the image turns shiny. 
and then you're done. Then I'm going to get some glue and some tape runner, not tape runner, tear tape. I just make up words all the time. But the tear tape I'm just going to put on the edge while I'm doing that I might as well put some on my baseball bat and then what I'll do with the baseball bat is I'll um, make sure that I add glue to the bottom and the sides but I wanted to have just a really nice amount of tear tape in the center of it. Okay, so our first step is going to be to put our our baseball down and you're going to want to line your baseball up with that seam so that this fold and that fold are on the same spot. And then I'm going to hold, rub it in place so it's well adhered. That's why we put the glue all the way around the edge and through the center. Then we're going to fold our card. This is a pre-made card that I bought in a set from AC Moore. And um, it's kind of, um, I'll call it wimpy. It's not a really strong um, paper. So it's nice to use this kind of paper with um, layers because then the layers will make the, the whole image that much bigger or stronger, bigger, stronger, faster, I don't know. And then I'm going to use some wet glue on my baseball bat. Now I think I'm going to put some foam tape behind the top part of it and have it angled so that it has some um, dimension. And then the rest of it will not be, you know, the bottom will touch, the top will be on foam tape, so the top of it will be higher. And these are the foam pieces that I got from the Dollar Tree, in case you didn't know that. A lot of people ask me that, so I always like to make sure I tell you that. In the automotive department, that over a little bit, I think. I'm going to put this angle this way. See that the top of the bat has a little dimension. Then she likes the Pirates and uh, the Red, so Red Sox. So I have a pirate that I'm going to put in the inside and a red sock that I'm going to put in the inside. And then I have these uniforms. And I thought what I would do with the uniforms is cut them. And then I'm not going to have the caps, just the uniforms. Okay, there's one uniform. And then here's the home uniform. I gotta do that one. Then I think on this one, I'm gonna do the same thing as the baseball bat and uh, make the bottom part of it just glued down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you where I'm at right now, but first I wanna just cut that off. Um, this is where we stand right now. I cut out and glued down the uniforms, and she's also a Red Sox fan, so I glued that down. I added some dimension to the top of the uniforms and the top of the baseball bat. And then on the inside, I glued down the big pirate symbol and the baseball. And then I put down this big layer of, um, it's a, I think it's half inch uh, tear tape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the gold foil I'm going to go over it with gold foil. If you've never used this kind of foil paper, it's pretty simple to use. You just need to, ooh, you just need to make sure that you put your foil, I'm going to get this out of the way, you want to put your foil exactly where you want it and make sure you don't miss any section. And then you want to really, really, really rub it down. You can use your bone folder for this. I usually just use my hand because I find that I do um, just as well with that. And I make sure that I've done a good job of pushing the edges down. The edges are where you have your most 
trouble with this. And then very gently, you'll pull it back. And there you have a big gold seam. Then what I thought I would do is I have this corner rounder. I thought I would take my card and round the corners of it. And because this paper is so lightweight, it's really easy to do. I know it doesn't look like it when I do it, but it is easy. And then I'm going to use some washi tape. That I and I thought I would run a strip of it across the top of the gold. And, sorry, you probably can't see that. And then across the next, whoops, Ooh, come on, get back off. Get it off there. Okay. Whew, that was lucky. And I think I'm going to go across the bottom. Let go. And leave a little strip in the middle that's just gold. And then it dulls down the gold just a little bit because, you know, the Steelers color, or the Pirates color, isn't exactly that vivid, vivid gold. So. That is that. And then let me get my envelope. I do the envelope. All I'm going to do is run the washi across it. That way we don't have um, a lot of a lot of confusion about it because I'm going to put my baseball. Oh, I should put up my baseball there. I think I'll put my baseball right there. If you saw that I have that little tag of extra washi tape. I do that on purpose so that I know exactly where the other, I don't know if you saw that or not, but um, I had it on the front left over so I do that so that I know in the back exactly where my front tape is so that it should be lined up. The front and the back should be completely lined up. Then I'm going to take my baseball and when you do this with something that's going to go in the mail. You have to make sure that you really, really glue it down. And so I'm going to put a lot of glue on it. But our baseball is nice and laid down. So all we need to do now is stamp it in the back with I made this for you. And there's our card and our envelope. I hope you enjoyed this and that you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell one friend about me on social media because you know I really love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.